Hello, how are you? I'm alright, I'm all right. how old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Can you hear me? I'm 22. Alright. So what's the issue? Is it criticism, or is it critique, or belittling? Well, I was reading the comments, and I kind of agree. I think it's more so like the delivery. So it just depends on how you come off. Is it, you know, it just depends on what you're saying. If you're 185 pounds and a woman, you're fat. Oh, that's what you said? 5 foot 487 pounds is fat. How, how can I, what, what better way to put it? Tell me. That's fair. I, okay. I <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, okay. Um, if you're an average woman, you don't you don't deserve anything above an average guy. Mm. I think that one's controversial because some guys aren't looking for, you know, certain things out of woman. Some guys have certain standards or little things that they want, so then they're not expecting have more. Asked, what, how many thousands of men have you asked that question? Sorry. How many thousands of men have you asked that question? Have I asked, what are you look? Are you looking for an average woman? Yeah, you just said that's somewhat controversial because certain men are looking for certain da 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 da. And I said, mm -hmm. how many thousands of men have you verified that way? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying I know specifically for sure. Well, then how can you say what you just said? Well, how can you say that? Because I've talked women, to thousands. Because I've talked to. Answering a question with a question. Tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of men. Okay, fair. Fine. Well, so, how do I do, so, so if you make average grades in college, would you deserve to get into an Ivy League college? <clears throat> you didn't hear it. I think Ivy League colleges are looking for if you Ivy made, League students. If you made, or you cut out, if you made average grades in high school, you graduated with a 2.0, you just graduated. In the middle, mm -hmm. would you deserve to go to an Ivy League college? <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. But that's because Ivy League schools are looking for prestige students versus everyone's opinion is different when it comes to men, average, no, it's above not. average. No, it's not. No, it's not. You don't think so? I mean, I think you're talking about like the majority, and I would agree yeah, with you. Man. Like, no, sure. no. See, you ladies understand average when it comes to things that are outside of you. And honestly, is to the modern woman. Interesting point. Extremely arrogant. Y'all all think you're special. And you're not. Interesting point. <laughs> the uh -huh. average woman is average. Mm -hmm. The average woman is a C student going to junior college or maybe state school, taking out student loans. Mm -hmm. But she still has Princeton level. You know what's crazy about this, folks? Not to just put this into perspective, that it is true when it comes to the the own image of average, right? They can see the average in all the places, right, where there's no women um, involvement. But when it comes down to women opinions, they do have a hard time realizing that yes, the majority of women are average, and I don't think has. I've been listening to Kevin Simon now for a couple, you know, years, right? And there's nothing about his delivery that was wrong. He can literally say it like a smooth and calm and slow pace and sweet and sour, you know, as possible. And I don't think it will really matter. They're still going to use the same argument because it's an abstract argument. It's subjective. It's not objective. Objectivity is when it comes down to the information. Desires. And information was clear. You would tell, you would call that woman crazy, but in but in the dating world, you say it's okay, and you come up with ways to where it makes sense. Yeah. Well, you I don't. Call, say, I don't think I'm the average woman, but I do agree with you. You don't think you're the average woman? All right. No, I don't have an average. How tall are you? Me, I'm five one. Dress size? What did you say? Dress size? Dress size? Small. Four. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 120 pounds. Okay. Five one? Five one. Any children? No children. 
On a scale from one to ten, you can't use seven. What would you rank your face? Just your face, fresh face out of the shower. Nine. Nine, damn. Really, with all those things in your eyes and thing going on and the piercing. I guess, I don't know, man. It's, damn. Nine? Damn, nine. Nine, bro. for sure. It's almost perfect. So you're up there with Kelly Rowland. What? Yeah. Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. Kelly Berry. Yeah. Those are number nine. Okay, so okay. I will put you next to, hold on, I will put you next to Kelly Rowland, Halle Berry, and you. And men would pick, and they would say all these things match. I don't know. Maybe, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go down to an eight for your, uh, for your, so for your. Next, uh, no, 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 I asked you where you are. So what well, I, I gave myself a nine, and that's what I'm saying. Hold on, excuse me, hold on, 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 hold on. See, you said you're a nine, and I'm just going to go with it. Then who's a ten? Go with it. Beyonce is a 10. Beyonce is an eight. What? Okay, yeah, this, this is where you lost me. Oh, she can't handle the truth. See, they can't handle the truth. They could cheat, no, she ran away. She can't, you couldn't handle the truth. Her ego that got affected, that's why she left. She's, she's cute, you know, six or five, but it's not up there right like like usually females are more prettier they're prettier than guys so they're always scaling a little bit higher but let's say an average guy is a three it's a four you know and a female will be between four and six but this is this is she couldn't handle the the back and forward no 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 she could handle it she could not handle it this is Past Kevin Iris and Vest, this is almost at the end. I mean, this is you can tell Kevin is already like, uh, you know, like he already. Uh, something that I noticed about Kevin Simon's videos is there's a pattern that occurs on these um, on these interviews, and I'm trying to figure out if it is real feminism, right? And it seems like there's a correlation between feminism, indoctrination, and female ego right and we have to identify what cultivated the female ego and i think it has to do with guys just giving validation to the wrong people as simple as that that's what i think let me know what you guys see in the comment section below maybe i can just get some insight and see what's going on here in the meantime i will see you in the next one i'm out